This is Higher Maths, it's paper D, uh, practice paper D, and what we're looking at is question 23 in the non-calculator paper. Okay, so what we've got here is to find the equation of the tangent to the curve with equation y is equal to 4 all over x at the point where x equals 2. Six marks to be gained here. Okay, so what, what I can see from the diagram here is we've got the curve here, y is equal to uh, 4 over x, okay? And what we're looking at is the equation of this line that's here. So that will be our tangent just at the point here where x is equal to 2. So two things that I'm really needing to, to gather here is I'm going to have to gather the point of contact. So I need the y-coordinate of this one here. And also I need the gradient of the, uh, the tangent that's here. First of all, let's find the point of contact. Okay, so the point of contact... And that's going to be when uh, y, when the y value is uh, opposed to the uh, the x equals two. So I'll substitute a two in where where I see the x. So that's just going to be four over two, which gives me two. So the point of contact, two two. So this point here is the point two two. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is work out the gradient when x equals uh, 2. And from there, what I'll do is I'll do some differentiation. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll write down the equation of the curve. I'll uh, just prepare that to be able to be differentiated. Okay, just we're bringing the, the x to the, the top there and uh, making that a negative. What I'll then do is I'll work out the... Uh, dy by dx is going to be equal to minus 4x to the minus 2. And just remember, that's our gradient equation there that we've now worked out. And from there, I'm just going to resettle it down to the bottom again. So it's going to be minus 4 down to the denominator. That will be x squared there. That's just a bit easier for me to substitute some, some numbers into this one here. Right, so I want to know what the gradient is when x equals 2. So when x equals 2, I want to know what the slope of this line is, or the slope on this curve is, both being the same. Right, so the gradient, when x equals 2, is going to be equal to minus 4 all over 2 squared, which from there will give me minus 4 over 4, which gives me a gradient of minus 1. From there, what I'll do is I'll substitute. Now I've found the gradient and the point of contact. I'll substitute the gradient equals minus 1, and the point of contact, which is 2, 2, and I put that into our equation of a straight line. Right, from there, just go for, this is the A, this is the B, this is the, the gradient here. So I've got 2 minus, minus 1 here, so minus 2, and that's uh, my equation. I'll just multiply this one out again. That'll be minus x, and that'll be plus 2, and from there, I'll just gather everything to the left-hand side. So x plus y, that's going to give me minus 4 equals 0. And this here is the equation of the tangent. To the curve. When x equals 2. And that's really what I've been asked to, to work out in this question. Right, let's look at the marks here. We've got six marks to be to be gained. Let's go for our first mark for getting the, the point of contact here. That'll be the first one. Uh, preparing to differentiate and differentiating correctly. We'll go for a mark there. So that's three so far. Okay. What we'll get is for one mark for knowing to substitute the, uh, the x equals 2 into the gradient formula and one for getting the gradient out there as a negative one. And for substituting both in to the equation of a straight line, and I'll give a mark for this one here, although uh, you could have worked it all the way through from there. Right, so marks here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's going to be 